Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share with you a testimony. Boy, this is something. You know, when people are warned by God, it comes through sounds, through visions, through dreams, through feelings, sensations, all kind, even through feelings. It's really a trip. Uh, this woman heard something, and I want you to hear this. This is really about a, a trip. This is from a YouTube subscriber called Living for Jesus. That's her code name. Listen, this gave me chills, Miss Pat. We serve such an awesome God that loves us so much till he warns us even when our lives are not in righteous living. I can relate. I got truly saved and dedicated my life back to the Lord in 2004. But ever since I could remember, God has given me open prophetic visions and dreams. It's been so many, but I want to share this one. This was February of 2015. Just recently, my sister has a bus had a business trip to make. She had business and wanted to add more things to it. She asked me, could I drive her? Because it would be a week before her SUV would finish being serviced. So I said, okay. Well, but the following week, before we were to leave, I was driving the highway. May I add, we live in a small community and crime rate is low. So We'd only hear ambulances once in a while, but not back to back or on a daily basis. So as I, I'm coming down the highway, all of a sudden, I heard ambulances and fire trucks. I heard so many of them until I just knew the road was going to be blocked ahead. I mean, it was back to back fire engines and fire trucks. Anyway, listen, uh, I was on the phone with my sister at the time. I told her something terrible has happened, although I couldn't see a thing yet. But I was hearing, listen, I was hearing so many ambulances and so many fire trucks, and it got closer. It seemed like the noise, by the by the sound of the noise, they were getting closer and closer. So, but in it, it didn't matter. I still didn't see anything. So I told her, let me roll my window down. You know how you want to hear what's really going on. Because this is really kind of strange. So I rolled my window down. And guess what? I didn't hear. And I didn't see a thing. Okay. So then I rolled them back up. And I heard everything again. I told my sister think this is spiritual okay now let's pray right now we came against death immediately two days later at our night prayer service I told my vision and the believers came into agreement with me because we knew the devil was aiming at somebody but we didn't know who God is in and still in complete control my sister and myself we headed out that weekend. The trip was almost five hours away. Mm. I was driving, but for some reason, my foot, <laughs> yeah, my foot started hurting. What a trip. <laughs> I'm tripping off of this, you guys. Give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> started hurting me like never before. So I gave the wheel to my sister. Well, by the time we got on the express freeway, she was the one doing the driving. We noticed these transfer trucks coming back to back. Every, everybody was speeding way past the speed limit. Hmm. So as time went by, for some reason, the both of us were looking through the rear view mirror and we saw a transfer truck coming up way from the distance from our rear, okay? And 
he was way he was further back in the distance a couple of cars in front of him were keeping up with him and speeding as well well we noticed they were getting closer real fast we just looked at each other because we were speechless at the time somehow we were cornered in okay we could not get out of his way excuse me because of the vehicles on the side of us he starts blowing his horn boom 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 because he knew what was getting ready to happen it was a transfer truck, check it out, in front of us and about five cars on the side. And this man, from a distance, blowing his horn in total terror. Well, I said, Pam, what are we going to do? Right when I said that, this man in the car, I, I, I still, to this day, can't explain this. But... For some weird reason, he hit his brakes just a little, long enough, I mean, to cause a gap, an opening gap. And we heard, my sister and I heard the same voice say the same thing to us. And it said, go. I even spoke it out by saying it loud. I told my sister, it looks as if the back of our car is transparent somehow. It then through his, it seems to be too. I watched because I had turned my head to pray over my son. He was with us, but somehow managed to sleep through the whole ordeal. When normally he's wide awake. Every time we travel, he was 15. Everything was strange. If we had have taken my sister's SUV, we probably would not have made it through that gap when that man tapped his brake. But I promise it looked as if our tail end of the car was transparent. Really weird. My foot never hurts when I'm driving. <laughs> but this morning it did. And I'm more of a nervous driver. Then my sister, she's really calm under stress. In other words, the right driver was behind the wheel at the time. That's what she's saying. Okay, next, my son, who was 15 at the time, slept all the way through this thing. Now, he probably would have made me panic by him panicking if he'd have been awake. The moral of this whole story these ambulances and the fire trucks I heard prior to that week. Isn't that weird? <laughs> if that accident had happened, so many people would have lost their lives. We weren't the only ones who were in danger that day. But God stopped it. Why? Because we prayed. So when God gives us warnings, we need to pay attention. He is doing this for a reason, not just to be wasting his time because he's bored. Miss Pat, I'm sorry for such a long message, but God has and still been so good to us. I truly thank him. Thanks for sharing. I don't see you all the time due to time crunch and other, you know, busyness with family. But when I do, I am blessed by your messages. Keep doing what God is telling you to do. Amen. Wow, what a testimony. You guys hear that? Do you guys hear how God will use sounds to warn you, visions to warn you? I mean, I will never forget. This is Pat's two cents. I will never forget the time I was driving the city bus and the person stopped dead in front of me. And I'm at 45 miles an hour with a bus full of people. And my first responsibility or the people on the bus, even if I have to hit the person in front of me, I cannot, I got to do whatever's going to be the safest for them. I can't jam on my brakes and throw them through the windshield. I have to do whatever I can to keep them safe. I knew I could not hit the brake or else I would have run over them and I would have run the people through the window. Everybody would have been hurt, probably including me. Well, 
I jumped up on my feet. I hollered, everybody, hang on. And I'm literally standing in front of the driver's seat, whipping that wheel. My foot's off the pedals. I can't touch the brakes or else everybody's in danger. I'm whipping the wheel to the left. On my left is an island. I'm whipping my wheel to the right. On my right is the car. There's no way the bus should have passed that car. It's no way it should have cleared between the car and the island at the angle I had to cut to pass them. I thought we were going to run up over the island, hopefully not flip over. And then I had to clear him through my tail. Well, number one, I shouldn't have missed his tail when I cut left. He stopped. The light was green. I don't know what was going on in his mind or her mind, whatever. But I, I'm, I'm jumping up, hollering, everybody, hang on. And I'm whipping the wheel to the left. Then I'm whipping the wheel to the right. And I'm looking in my, in my side view mirror to see if I'm going to clip him. Because I'm bracing for impact, either to the left or to the right, the curb or the car. Nothing. To this day. And I was good. I'm telling you, I was good at judging my bus. There was no physical way that I should have missed the island or the car. Either from the rear, that was definitely the first miracle. I should have hit him. I should have rear-ended him. Clipped his side of his tail or something. Never touched him. I made it past him. The angle was too short. I should have clipped him on my way over to the left. I should have clipped him. I didn't. I made it all the way and cleared in front of him. There's no way I should have missed the island in his car. There's not enough room. And I knew what was going to happen. I just did what was safest, what would have done the least amount of damage. And do you know I didn't hit that car? I didn't touch a thing. I had to pull over the next uh, opening after I got through the intersection. There was a spot up under the bridge. And I parked that bus. I told everybody, just give me a minute. I was so shaken. I had to cry it out. I was just, I was a bundle of nerves. I could not believe it was, I knew a miracle had happened. There was no way I should have missed that car. And I know God guarded me, guided me, protected me with angels. I know he did. There was no way. When she said the back of her car had to have been transparent, I know what she means. There is no way. That some accident should not have happened. No way. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Just sharing about how God protects. One other thing came to my mind real quick. I'm, I'm real, I really make this quick. A person was, was praying as they were driving. They started singing a song about God's protection and God's blessings. And they were just praising God while they were. And all of a sudden, this pile up. Is happening all in front of them and around them on the freeway at high speed. And one car flipped over another car and flew over the air. And the person said it was the freakiest thing. Ever, all they kept saying was, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Try not to panic. Try to keep their minds together. And as they were going forward... Things were flying, things were rolling, things were parting, and they made it through the whole mess, totally unscathed. Okay, just want to share, God is a miracle working God. So when you hit the roads, you pray, you guys. God can slow you down long enough for you not to be hit by somebody running through a red light. God can, can give you a slow leak on a flat tire where it slows you down. You got to pull over. And while you're pulling over, he's handling some catastrophe that's happening up ahead that you would have been right in the middle of. Thank God for every weird experience that you can't explain that makes you late, that holds you up, that inconveniences you, you better thank God because God protects us from danger seen and unseen. God bless you.